Today I want to go over creating a snapshot um, of a VM that has a PCI pass-through enabled. Uh, this particular VM, the Win7 underscore demo, has a K1 card that is enabled on this particular VM. Um, one thing to note, if the, if the VM is on and you try to create a snapshot, your, your first snapshot, so we're going to say take snapshot and we'll just call it test you'll see that it's going to fail. The operation is not allowed in its current state. That's because we have the PCI pass-through card, the K1 card, enabled on that particular VM. We can either remove that card, which would require us to shut this down, go into edit settings and remove the card, if we wanted to do the snapshots while it was on. But for time's sake and best practice, uh, the best thing to do and easiest thing to do is just shut down that VM and then you would be able to uh, take the snapshot and, and all its functionality of snapshot manager of that particular VM. Before we create our first snapshot, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of things uh, in preps for the snapshot. Um, I created a Word document uh, that just says snap demo one on the VM before turning it off. I'm going to go ahead and change that to snap demo 2 and save that. And then we'll go ahead and shut down the VM. Now that the VM is off, we're going to go ahead and create our first snapshot. And to do that, all you do is go ahead and right-click that VM and go to Snapshot and then Take Snapshot. Uh, we'll give it a name. We'll call this one Demo1. And we'll just, uh, for a description, we're going to say um, uh, reg, reg Change. So a Registry Change. And we'll say OK. And you'll, you can see uh, uh, under Recent Tasks that it went ahead and created the snapshot. If you go ahead and right click it again, you can go ahead and look at Snapshot Manager and you can see your newly created Demo 1 snapshot. Now that we've created a snapshot, we're going to go ahead and turn the VM back on, make some changes, and then in like a real world scenario, we'll go ahead and uh, revert back to our original snapshot will show that maybe if the uh, update didn't work or a reg change didn't work or an application update didn't work and we want to go ahead and revert back to our snapshot that we took earlier. So I'll go ahead and turn on this VM. With the VM back on we're going to go ahead and open up that demo notepad that I made and go ahead and change it from snap demo 2 to snap demo 3 and we'll save that and then we'll go ahead and power down the VM again and revert back to the, the snapshot that we took. Um, we'll just again act like this is a, a real world situation where we need to revert back and we'll go ahead and, and shut this down and, and with the VM now off we're going to go ahead and revert back to the snapshot that we took. If you recall uh, when the VM was on, we went ahead and changed that Word file uh, from uh, demo snap 2 to demo snap 3. So if we go ahead and right click that VM that is now off, go to snapshot, and then to re revert to current snapshot, that's the one we just took. We'll go ahead and click that and say yes because any data uh, that has been created after the snapshot um, will be lost or any changes that have been made will also be lost. So we're going to go ahead and say yes. Uh, watch the progress. It should when, it, when the VM is off, it goes rather quickly. So we'll go ahead and turn that VM back on, log in, and see that it now shows, probably will show Snap Demo 2. Now that this VM is on and I've logged in, I'm going to go ahead and open up this notepad file and see if it's back in its original state. So as you can see it is, it's Snap Demo 2. Um, after the snapshot we went ahead and changed it to Snap Demo 3. 
saved it, and then reverted back to its original, to demo one snapshot, and it, which put it back to its original text. Um, now I'll go ahead and shut this VM down and launch the snapshot manager and show you. Now that the VM is off, we're going to go ahead and go to that VM, right click, go to snapshot, and then to snapshot manager. Um, once the wizard launches, you'll see that I have uh, two snapshots now. I, I created another one called demo2, but prior to doing that, I changed the text in the uh, snap demo file to say demo snap four. Um, but what you can do here, a couple neat features you can do uh, within the snapshot manager is you can go back and forth between the two or if you had more snapshots by just selecting it. Currently we're, you can see it says you are here, we're under demo two and so that text would say uh, the demo snap four. But if I wanted to go back to demo one but leave demo two intact in case we wanted to revert back, I would just select demo one say go to, say yes to this, pop up, and it'll bring me back to demo one. As you can see, now it says you are here, we're under demo one snapshot. And we can continue testing or working under that if we like. Um, if we decided we no longer wanted demo two, we can select that and say delete. And that will remove demo two, but leaving demo one intact. The delete all button actually just commits, it's kind of a weird naming convention, but delete all would actually just commit these two snapshots to the parent VM. So those child would go to the parent, and you would no longer see any snapshots, but we would be at the demo two configuration. So that change that I made to the uh, WordPad file would stay the same where it would show demo snap four. So if I say delete all, it's going to say this will consolidate and remove all snapshots from the virtual machine. All snapshots will be consolidated to a single disk. Do you want to continue? I'll say yes to that. And as you can see, it is now completed and it shows that we are here under the parent uh, VM, which is the win seven underscore demo. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, turn on the VM, and we'll, we should see the text show Snap Demo 4. Now that we've started the VM, we're going to go over to the notepad file just to verify that the consolidated snapshots reflect the latest snapshot that we took. And that's when we change the notepad text to snap demo 4 which as you can see shows snap demo 4 and all the snapshots are now consolidated to the parent VM. A couple things to note is you don't want to leave uh, snapshots uh, under the parent for too long uh, to a production VM. Um, it can affect storage space, it can affect um, the overall performance of that VM. So um, when you know that you've done with your snapshots, you'll want to consolidate them by using the delete all function.